Hello guys, welcome to Vlogmas day two. I just hopped out of the shower and got dressed really quick. I'm getting the vlog off to a bit of a later start today just because I wasn't doing anything except for editing um, and uploading yesterday's Vlogmas and then basically just like getting ready for today. So Meg and I are going to get our nails done. I have this holiday dinner tonight for my management company. So there should be some other YouTubers there. I'm excited, so I have a plus one as well to that. So Megan's gonna come with me, which I'm excited. We're going to this like restaurant that I've never been to in um, West Hollywood. So should be a good time. Pretty much feel sick wise the same that I felt yesterday. So my throat and tongue is still like messed up. It's just weird because it feels like it's like hard to talk because I have to like move my tongue over to the side of my mouth or else my thing. It's really gross. You don't want to see it. <laughs> it like touches my teeth. Anyway, I'm going to head out with Megan now to get her nails done. Um, I actually vlogged the last time when I got this color on. They still look pretty good, but this happened. My nails like keep breaking. So I'm going to get them a little bit shorter. So hopefully that won't happen and I'm probably going to get them like a dark color. My hair looks pretty crazy. Um, it's weird because looking at it in the mirror right now, it looks so much lighter than it does on, on the camera. The camera makes it look more bright and more lavender-y. It's seriously so faded already. It like makes me like not want to wash it, but I've only been washing it like every, every other day, which isn't, I mean, that's like normal, I guess, but anyway, okay. I'll see you at the nail salon. Hey, what are you doing oh, here? Just live in a caravan. It's crazy. You look very insane. So we're at the nail salon. Um, what did you get? Literally the same color I had on my nails. Wait, you have to show them your tattoo. Because I told them we had matching. But they yeah. haven't seen yours. That is just really nice. Really pristine. So this is my current. We're currently finishing mine up. I have to go wash my hands. Okay. I'll see you at the dinner. You know? Okay. I see you. This was a good run in. We back, we back. Um, I am honestly so freaking starving. I need to eat something like before I get ready for this dinner. Um, I'm gonna be rushed getting ready, but it's sort of my freaking life. Nails always take longer than I think they're going to. I ended up getting, can you even see it? It's like a navy blue and I got them shorter. Can't really tell, but I really like the color. Um, kind of creepy when I was on my way to the nail salon a lady on the street like handed me this and I guess there's some guy going around downtown LA like where I was the area I was like walking and stuff to get my nails done um and he's like <sighs> grabbing women and filming it and putting it on YouTube so creepy I don't know but I'm glad this lady handed me this she was like hey there's a guy going around downtown like please take this I'm like thank you so I'm glad it has a picture because that's just like better than just being like hey there's some predator going around it could be any guy um anyway uh, my tonsils are really 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 killing me right now I don't feel like I've gotten significantly better since starting my antibiotic the other day I kind of feel like my throat I mean I feel a little bit better but not that much better as you can tell it still hurts to talk really bad um I'm just in pain just got a bunch of packages I got a Sephora and then I got a wildflower package don't know what that is something from FedEx and then I got Squirtle dog food, something from Amazon that I don't know what I ordered. <laughs> Megan is going to come back over and we're gonna leave for the dinner together in like an hour. I don't know who's all gonna be there, but I think it will be a good time. I wish I could eat better and talk without it hurting so bad, but you can just hope that'll get better oh my gosh i'm just so over the sickness but i'm over telling you guys how over it i am so anyway um i will see you in a little bit when i'm more ready for this there we go it was not focusing all right we are we are here me and my dark lipped woman you got the colorful dark lip i got the colorful hair Woo. we're stopping out tonight ladies Uber. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a bumpy ride on the freeway right now. <laughs> 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 we are 
arms like moving. Arms <laughs> Why am I moving so much? <laughs> okay, um, we're showing up fashionably about an hour late to the dinner, so we'll see how that goes. Pretty much the rudest people you've ever met in your entire life. She told me it was okay to be late. She was well, like, I was envisioning maybe like 15 minutes, but we're like an hour late. I just, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I really did just, you tell them what the dinner was? I'm horrible. Yes, I did tell them that it's a dinner for my management company. She's my plus one. Hopefully everyone doesn't hate us when we get there. You know? Alright. See you then. See you at the party. Yo, check it out. There is a beautiful ice sculpture here. And we are here. Okay, who is all doing vlogmas here? <laughs> How's your vlog today? Whoa! Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Very bright. Can everyone say hi to Vlogmas? Woo! Hey girl! We have a beautiful candle at dinner. I have a freaking name tag. Yeah. It's very festive. Oh, I love it. So we're at this place, Evely. I'm just taking a peek. I don't know what I'm gonna dive into first, but it's like okay, okay. It's one of those. It's one of those. Okay, where you like get a menu and you can just try. You just get the different food exactly. so you brought to you. I want to let us come. This is, but I'm like There's something with an egg. Yeah, I'm kind of afraid of that. <laughs> Megan loves egg yolks. Did you try this egg? Join the vlog party. Can everyone just say, hey, Vlogmas 2015? It's Vlogmas. We got some ice cream sandwiches. Um, guys, there's only five, but there's six people. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, oh the sad. Hello, so I am home now. I have been home actually for a little while. Um, from dinner and it was really 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 nice. It was a really good time. I have been Packing for I didn't even tell you guys I'm going to Indiana tomorrow to Visit one of my friends who you guys will meet his name's Andrew and it's gonna be a good weekend I'm a little bit actually more than a little bit um just disappointed and really sad because I was reading the comments on my vlog from yesterday and um, I'm honestly just really 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 saddened and it's hard not to be um, offended when uh, people are doing nothing but tearing you down and um, don't get me wrong I definitely see <laughs> I definitely see positive comments and I appreciate positive comments and I really really um, respect and like admire so much those of you guys who respond to rude um, hateful comments in my defense and things like that and just say nice things as opposed to just continuing on a spew of negativity because that's just you know that's pointless um it hurts really bad to talk right now but that's not what i wanted to say um i'm basically going to film a stripped down challenge right now which i've actually been looking forward to filming this video for a while now i wanted it to be my video from la for last week but um i wasn't able to get a video up for last week because i was um super sick last week but i'm gonna film it tonight basically gonna film it in uh, reaction to not in reaction but I'm um, discussing what I feel right now and um, the really really difficult parts about being on YouTube and um, the fact that I can't do absolutely anything without being judged and without having to make an explanation for it I can't dye my hair and just come come on video and not say anything about it I can't change myself in any way um, without explaining why I did it. I can't get a tattoo on my hand and not explain exactly why I did it. I can't do these normal things that normal people can just decide to do without giving a full explanation of why I did it. I 
understand that because um, obviously it's like I'm not just gonna dye my hair and then come on video and not talk about it I'm not gonna get a tattoo and then come on video and have my tattoo be seen and not say anything about it because then I'm just gonna get an overload of questions about it and why I did it and all that kind of stuff so I always explain myself whenever I do something that I know you guys will notice I just feel extremely 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 um not not necessarily not mad just really 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 sad for people that think that leaving a comment that has no purpose other than hurting me I can't help but just feel so sad I really 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 don't understand unless your motive is that you don't like me and that you're trying to make me feel bad about myself that is the absolute only thing that I would understand um, in writing a negative comment you know being a literal hater being the type of person that is so so you know negative that you need to tear other people down and um, I'm really not a dramatic person at all I actually hate drama so much so uh, not trying to be dramatic it's just like when well I didn't even think I was reading the comments on my vlog and I was pretty happy earlier today and then I got on a few hours later tonight and I saw a bunch of comments that were like wow this comment section is so absolutely negative um blah 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 Lindsay I hope you don't listen to any of this blah 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 so I saw comments like that and I was like oh great the comments of my new vlog are blowing up with uh, negativity which is you know not something that <laughs> I ever want to see especially since I said in my vlog yesterday um, there won't be negativity tolerated in the comments and what I exactly what I mean by that I will tell you right now so that you know when I see rude negative comments on any of my videos if I see it I will delete your comment and I will probably block you if it is offensive to me I have literally done this since I was 15 that is the way that I personally like handle negative unnecessary comments I'm not talking about just having a constructive opinion I'm talking about being rude being unnecessary I don't appreciate rudeness in the comments of my videos that I spend time on I work hard on I enjoy uploading for you guys I want this to be like a happy place I want my comment section to be a place of community I don't want my comments to be arguing and someone leaving a hateful comment and then someone responding to that and trying to defend me and then the original person that left the comment um, responding to that person and people getting in fights that's literally the last thing I want for my comments and it's just like it's absolutely so 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 sad to me to see that people would especially people that have potentially watched me for years that people would judge me for dyeing my hair a color when I've dyed my hair probably 30 times since I was like in seventh grade um or for getting a tattoo of something that literally brightens my day my life so much when I see it and that's the sheer reason that I did it because it literally makes me happy and the fact that people would get upset or hate on or judge something that literally makes me happy I don't understand it at all I'm doing absolutely nothing that affects your life whatsoever by getting a tattoo or by dyeing my hair a temporary color that it's literally gonna fade in a few weeks it just it, it I I'm this is gonna be the premise of my of my video that I'm gonna film judgment I feel like I have to, um, like I said, I feel like I have to defend myself for every action that I make and I understand that that's a part of 
being on YouTube, but it doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't make it any, any easier to have to come on camera and explain why you did something. Also, to the few of you that are commenting that I'm gonna be coming out soon and that you think I'm gay, nothing wrong with being gay whatsoever at all. However, I'm not gay. <laughs> um, just wanted to clear that up. I won't be coming out anytime soon. Um, don't know why that's like such a popular debate also in the comments of my video. Apparently people thinking that um, because I'm like doing certain things that I'm a lesbian. I don't know how you could even like assume that from my videos at all, but nah. This vlog definitely took a turn. Um, I'm just gonna end the clip by saying a thank you so, 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 so much from the bottom of my heart to anyone who I saw in that comment section who was being nice, being positive, defending me, or just literally being like, yo, like, she's doing her, she's doing what makes her happy. My, like, motto of life right now, and just kind of always, has been, I'm gonna do me, and you do you. And it might sound really stupid, but it's so freaking true. There's no point in getting mad or upset about what somebody you don't know, personally, is doing with their life. What is the point in that? There's absolutely no point. Live your life, you be happy, <laughs> you live your life, you do you, and I'm gonna continue to do me and what makes me happy because every single day in this life, I get happier and I feel more myself. And yeah, it's hard being on YouTube sometimes having people judge you for changing so much when you started this six years ago when you were 15 years old in high school and lived in somewhere completely different. I don't know how a person wouldn't change in that time. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know why anyone would want me to say exactly the same. No person stays exactly the same in six years. I say it so much, but if you don't like the person that I am, you don't have to watch my videos. There's nothing making you, forcing you to watch my content if you don't like the person that I am. Um, I know at the end of the day that I am a really good person and that I have a huge heart and that the reason I do YouTube is to share what I'm passionate about and what I love and hopefully to inspire you guys and hopefully to have you feel some of that love. That's the reason why I do this. That's really all I can do at the end of the day. So, very long clip. Thank you for listening. I'm gonna go film my main channel video. I wanted to show you what I got in the mail from Wildflower. So, they did a collab with freaking Converse. And these are some marble. Sorry, I'm talking <laughs> weirder than weird now because I have white strips in. <laughs> but some marble Converse. And then to match their marble phone case, which I'm about to switch my case to this. I love that. And then I got in a Sephora order. Um, I basically got this, which I heard Rachel Whitehurst raving about. So I thought I would try this out. I got a little sample of, I think this is Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. It's a really soft little cute box. I got a new black beauty blender. I got this little bag filled with like miniature night products it's called or something like that. I got that for free. And then I got a Lancome, Lancome eye makeup remover which is in my bathroom right now. So a little end of night haul for you. My camera is about to die so I'm going to charge it up. I'm going to say goodnight to you. I'm gonna finish my white strips <laughs> and I'm going to go to sleep. I'm not gonna get that much sleep. I have my flight to India. I'm really excited. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So